over 300 stones incoming for the month of April. How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan battle video and it is that time again. We have confirmation on the next Dokkan festival exclusive for Global Dokkan. It will be the MT Rudigarn and STR Super Saiyan 3. This was the New Year's campaign over on JP, finally coming to us here on Global. And so we're going to go ahead in this video and take a look at the campaign from JP and figure out how many stones we can anticipate to bank for our anniversary savings. Remember, in the beginning of the year, we counted up all the available stones from January all the way up to the anniversary and we counted out a oh, roughly 1500 stones so we're gonna figure out just how much of that you're adding into that bank uh, in the coming month so before we hop in let's do a quick stone check let us know in the comments down below what is your current stone count as of this video as we approach two days from the release of this unit so let's go ahead let's hop on in let's take a look at the news over on jp dokkan um we have quite a few things to look at here so we'll start sort of down here at the bottom because of the just the way they updated this it started with part two so first and foremost we have the login missions we can safely assume that they're going to be roughly the same as they were there wasn't any bonuses like two or three stones per day like uh, during any major celebration so we'll assume this typical one per day as it was on JP so that's 31 free stones right there just for logging in this will last pretty much the entirety of the month of April until we get into uh, golden week in May we will also have um, new missions available I believe these ones are actually on the higher side counting I think I counted out 20 stones uh, from the mission so that right there alone completing your missions and logging in nets you 50 stones but of course right you have your daily missions as well daily missions including the weekends where you get double the stones is about 35 stones for this month so that brings our total to 89 stones for the month just for logging in and doing your daily grind to get your daily mission so pretty good deal right there that's a multi and a half just for logging in up next we will have the revamp of the movie EZA area combining all of these into one it resets as an entirely new event which means you can do all of these awakenings once again you don't even have to awaken you just have to complete the stage and you'll get the stones it should already give you the mission stones if you've already gotten the units awakened so doing that right there is going to net you 40 more stones just for recompleting this and having those units easy aid so obviously if you don't have them yet you need to get on that because that's 40 stones right there and that brings our total to 129 stones stones moving on we got a few more uh events to look at we have a new dragon ball story for the wrath of dragon event here and that's going to net us two four six eight ten twelve stones plus missions how many missions we got four missions so 20 stones right there for recompleting that uh story so that's 149 150 more or less for that that's a full rotation on hero to garden them's banner by the way um which uh, should also include a free multi and ticket so that's a pretty good deal right there that's not even a whole lot having to grind that's just logging in daily and completing a few missions so pretty good deal there moving on to the next thing on the list we have the dokkan events right two events two new events which means uh four stones total right one for each of the difficulties bring our total to 150 
three. Moving on down, we'll have a new Dolcon Ultimate class, which will get us about 25 stones, bringing our total to 178. And that's pretty much in terms it in terms of new content, right? Obviously, if you haven't completed any of these story events, go ahead and do those. That's free stones right there, as well as returning all easy A's, it would appear. So if there's an easy A you missed, make sure you get those done. Now, I will say that this is hinging on whether or not they keep this the same, because I think this was mostly done because it was the New Year's campaign, so they may or may not return all easy A's. I feel like they will just do it anyways, because otherwise there won't be anything returning. Though they may just do it anyways. But that is not it. That is just the stuff coming in part one. When we include part two, we do have a few more things coming in the quote unquote part two, right? Now, this will probably all be condensed into part one. We'll have sort of a fake part two, which might present more stones and that part two could be another global first they could quite try to squeeze some kind of advanced lr in there right like an lr that jp's getting um just to kind of help sync the schedules so keep that in mind or we'll get another filler banner i doubt we will uh like we normally do uh simply because right that just further exacerbates the problem with singles so just uh with synchro so just make sure that you we're aware that you know, this list could change depending on what they decide to add for that uh, full part two. But based on what we know from JP, uh, we do have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Easy A. So that'll be 34 stones right there, bringing our total to 200 and 12 we will get the type supports and their easy a's returning and that the easy a event uh grants us quite a few stones actually right uh two stones for each of the stages for each of the types so that's 10 stones right there plus missions that's 15 stones so that's 227 stones total so far are. We will also get the new Ultimate Red Zone movie bosses too. Now, this one is going to be a bit interesting. I talked to this uh, a little bit in my full stone guide for the year leading into 9th anniversary, but I'm fairly certain that they're going to give us the whole stage during this celebration. I don't think they're going to cut it off at Hirudagarn and then leave the other two for later. That would be really silly not to give us the whole event right away. It's possible, but I think they will give it... Um, all they'll just piece it out throughout the celebration so knowing that we will have um quite a bit of stones actually right we'll have se seven stones for completing each stage as well as a bunch of stones for missions totaling in about 63 stones right there's 55 for missions then the seven there so 63 stones there bringing our total to 290 so that's pretty good there we'll have a new sbr for six stones and a new esbr four eight stones there so that brings our total to 304 crossing the 300 mark so that already makes it one of the top free to play stone celebrations and then finally closing out the celebration before we head into whatever they have for part two we'll be getting an the final explosive chain battle which will net us about 25 stones bringing our full total for the celebration to about 329 that's pretty good for a full celebration that's going to net us a whole lot of extra stones now i did want to bring something up real quick here so hang on a second Alrighty, so I did want to pull up last year's Part 2 celebration, and this was last year's April celebration, which was the Dokkan Festival Yamcha. I had a Part 1 and Part 2. The Part 2, it not being a dual Dokkan Fest, ended up bringing back a returning LR campaign, which featured three LR characters. I think it was like the... I think this ended up being... What was it? Like... Uh, uh, Kaioken Goku... Goku Piccolo, both Goku Piccolos, right? So, I mean, if you were missing those characters, it wasn't a terrible banner, but it was a rerun banner. I don't think this is going to happen, but you do see there are stones available, right? We did end up getting a new TV story here, some more Super Battle Roads, so I'm not going to count those in this total stone count because I don't know how it's going to play out. Um, we'll know for certain 
uh, when that happens, but all that means is more stones for the count. But I already know that when we include all of this, this is going to get us over 300. If, if we end up getting another world tournament like they had in the part two, which is entirely possible, we are definitely behind in world tournaments and need to catch up. Um, that's another 50 stones, right? If there's a good chance this could bring our total close to 400 for the month of April, depending on how they handle this part two. This stands to be a pretty good month for us global players, depending on how they handle it. So really looking forward to this month. Um, we definitely should be in full saving mode. The next place we should be thinking about summoning is possibly Golden Wake. If not then, then definitely Anniversary, right? Save as many stones as you can for that Beast Gohan, for that Gogeta, for that Broly, or gammas right uh that's where the bulk of your stones should be so whatever stones you get here definitely need to be banking so guys that is it for the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know what is your current stone count if we get the 329 stones from this celebration that we are anticipating what does that put your total stone count at and let me know are you planning on doing a couple multis on Hirudugarn or Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Would love to hear your thoughts and what you plan on doing in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and aloha.